I want you to talk me through this concept of how you turn buyer leads into seller leads. Yeah, well, it's important because let's be real for a second. The most, oh, this is bad, bad language, but the most easiest way, Jimmy, to get leads <laughs> on the internet for real estate agents is buyers. Mm -hmm. So buyers, you can get that quantity. Yeah. But everybody wants a seller. So there's two things you can do that will actually turn your buyer leads into seller leads. Mm -hmm. And it's basically through email mm -hmm. or through text if you get an email or a phone number. And, and it's literally the I forgot to ask technique. Mm -hmm. And I want everybody to do two things here. Number one, I want you to take all your old buyer leads that haven't been responding or that kind of ghosted you. And I want, to, I want you to send a mass email to them. And I want that email to say, I forgot to ask, did you need to sell your current home before you buy the next one? Mm -hmm. Like what people don't realize is that about 30% of people that are buying a home have to sell a home first. Yeah. So if you get a hundred buyer leads, 30 of them own a home. And if you don't ask, if you don't mention mm -hmm. that you might be one of the people that needs to sell before you buy. Because guess what, Jimmy? If I need to sell before I buy, now I'm not just interested in listings. I'm interested in CMAs. I'm interested in comps. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So number one, go back and make up for never doing this yep. and do a mass email to catch up. But number two, this is really where it gets exciting. I want everybody to bake this message into their action plans when they get new buyer leads. Mm -hmm. Zillow lead comes in. Hey, did you want to go see the home? Sure. Okay. By the way, do you need to sell one before you buy? So you, it's, it's two steps, Jimmy. One is you do a bulk email to ask all the buyer leads you forgot to ask. Yeah. And then two is you add a drip email, mm -hmm. probably email number two, email okay. number three, like yep. in the sequence. And that drip email, which is going to go out every time you ever get another buyer lead, is going to ask the question for you. Yeah. It's a great strategy. It works. And it's one of the easiest ways to find motivated sellers. Because think about it, Jimmy. If I'm already shopping for my next house, mm -hmm. I probably don't want to spend a whole lot of time selling the one I'm in. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. You kind of already mm -hmm. closed that chapter in your life. Now, you mentioned putting it as email number two or email number three. Why mm -hmm. not email number five or number seven or number 10? Well, as you know, Jimmy, time destroys all things. So I want people to understand, like, if this is your open rate with leads, this is your open rate over time. See that? Mm -hmm. So if your open rate starts really high, which a new subscriber is the most likely to open, the email number one and two get opened infinitely more than email number 12 and 13. Yeah. So the problem is if it's, if it's drip email number five, no one reads that. You know, so you want to front load it so that it definitely gets opened and read at the highest rate possible.